Hi there everyone, Peter of England here bringing you an update on the current situation concerning uh, Weir Bank and removement. Uh, many of you will be aware that the, uh, the website has been taken down by sort of forces exterior. Um, also the PayPal account has been taken down and frozen and also my personal account has been taken down and frozen. Uh, as at the moment they won't reveal who's given the orders for this or who's given the authority for that to happen but um, what this means um, and makes it very patently clear that these um, financial brigands can't be trusted and anything that comes remotely close to challenging their, uh, their vested interests will be um, tyrannically and immediately um, disabled. So um, that's the not so good news. The good news is we always knew it was going to happen but like everything we didn't quite know when it was going to happen. So now that it's happened that's quite excellent because it forces us or moves us now naturally uh, through a hiatus into a, uh, a second stage or the phase that was then planned for um, next. That stage is going to be a new Weir Bank um, or a new website actually. Uh, it'll be www.weirbank.com. Uh, it should be up and running by um, tomorrow, that's Monday the 18th, give or take a day. Um, that delay is while we wait for um, what's called SSL or security protocols to be acknowledged so that we can ensure that the website is secure, not only for us, but also for you for the next stage of the, the next rollout, should we say. So um, on this new site, um, first of all, um, we are introducing a, a new or a, a different way of um, people joining and then paying. There will be no payment facility available on the new site. We don't require that at the moment. Full instructions will be given to you when you actually join and then you will be led by a, a, a system where we push information out to you instead of us pulling it in from you. So this is something that will be, will be different. Um, we have had an overwhelming response from the day we created it until even now um, there's a greater response now with it going down. People wanted to know more and more information as to what's happened than ever before. Um, we also have a, uh, a Facebook page that will be on, uh, under Weir Bank on Facebook. Uh, we will also be having a Twitter account which should be linked also to Weir Bank and to the Facebook page pretty soon. So I'll be able to tweet or tweet you and give you information about what's, been, uh, what's happening. Um, on a subsidiary aspect to this, please be assured, um, or this is an information uh, for all you who have joined so far, um, when you go onto the site you will be required to re-register. This is because now what we need to do is to bring you into the new database. Um, for all those who have issued a promissory note, that is great. We will be able then obviously to confirm, not only confirm that to you, but we will possibly be repopulating a promissory note with the information that you've uh, supplied. Um, the other aspect or other thing to be assured of, that's to all the members that have joined so far, is that all checks that you have sent out on our side have been cleared. Some of the banks have come along and said that we have refused to clear. That's just, um, just pure lying and pure laziness or just pure reluctance to admit the inevitable fact that their days as um, you know, um, the monopolists and controlling elite of the banking system globally and particularly within the UK uh, are over and finished. Um, I've had discussions with NatWest Clearing in London, I've had HSBC Legal Department on the, uh, on the phone to me on Friday at quarter to five um, arguing the toss about why we can't clear um, our own checks and why we're stating that we, we can. And so the bottom line is that these people in the legal profession, uh, when it comes to banking and financial instruments, know as much about the, that as the lollipop lady uh, outside your school. So don't let them bully you. Don't let them cajole you. Stick to your guns um, from the local councils through to the banks and through to the credit agencies just you stick to the guns make sure you do the make sure you've attached the alarms make sure you do the notorial protest and from then on if they want to see us and discuss this with us they can see us in court um, there will soon be also you must, sorry when the website gets launched um, 
at www.wearbank.com. There will be a full support service on there, a support center, an area for frequently asked questions. And for all the banking people out there, there will even be a frequently asked questions area where you can educate yourself and start to learn how to clear your own products. And we'll also put some educational videos on there for you to follow so that you don't have to have your head um, spinning faster than that, uh, that rally, that cheap rally bicycle that you cycle into work in on a, a Monday to Friday. Okay, so thank you for listening. Uh, we're up and running. We're stronger than ever. Please make sure now it comes over to you even more and to the people you know and you bring these people on. You have no greater responsibility to yourself, to your family or to the people you know other than to bring them on board. Join Removement at no cost to you now and then we'll lead it forward from there. So thank you very much. Peter of England um, signing off.